Well, Lisa C. is planning to write a family Christmas letter back in the early 90s, developed into an illustrious career as a New York Times bestselling author. Her books have been published in dozens of languages, sold to several countries, and one has even uh, been turned into a feature film starring Hugh Jackman. Her 12th book is entitled The Tea Girl of Hummingbird Lane and explores the bonds between a Chinese woman and the daughter that she gives up for adoption. And Lisa joins me now. Lisa, it is a pleasure to see you this morning. Thank you so much for having me. All right, take us back to the beginning. How did this all start with a letter and a Christmas card? Oh, I wanted to write something about my family. And my I come from a very large Chinese-American family. My great-grandfather was kind of the godfather patriarch of Los Angeles Chinatown. So he, among other things, had four wives, one of whom was Caucasian. This was back when it was against the law for Chinese and Caucasians to marry. And anyway, I'm, I'm descended from that particular line of the family. And uh, I don't know, I just wanted to try to collect some information about the family and just get some dates and names. I thought I'll share it with everyone and things got out of hand. Okay. <laughs> well, tell me a bit about the genre, if you will, historical fiction that, that you write and why it's taken off. Well, I am very interested in stories that have been lost, forgotten, sometimes deliberately covered up, particularly when they come to women's stories and women's history. And, you know, we tend to learn history in terms of wars and dates, sort of that front line of history of presidents and generals and prime ministers and battles. But if you take one step back, who's there? It's women, it's families, it's the elderly, it's children. And they're there for every step of the way. So I try to go and find these moments in history, or in this instance with the tea girl of Hummingbird Lane, a, um, a particular culture, the Aka ethnic minority in China, and try to tell their story in a way that um, sort of is enlightening, I guess is, would be the word. If you find a narrative that really resonates with people, then they get the his historical story exactly. significance as well, though, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, take me into your process a little bit, because I understand that you type all of your books. <laughs> I can't believe that yes only three, three, fingers. three fingers these three <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yes I've written a, a dozen books with three fingers <laughs> <laughs> why not take some typing lessons <laughs> I don't you know yeah. when I was in high school you were required to take typing but my yeah. mother said I don't want you to take that typing class because I don't want you to end up as a secretary